All right, today I'm going to do a little bit of fixing up on our little S hackamore. This is a hackamore we usually use on Sundance because he he was awful in a bit, and so we just put him in the little S. Well, lately he's been he hasn't been responding to this much either, and we think it's been because it's a little too harsh for him because he does not like pressure. So, but he deals very well with the light pressure. So I'm just gonna you can see it's. It's all tangled up here right now. Um, it's just a normal little S hack. Got your head stall attached to the side of the shank, the curb chain underneath, and this little wire just keeps everything from getting too twisted. And this is usually just made out of rawhide. In this case, it's made out of a pretty flexible plastic, but it is quite thin, so it's a little bit rough. You got your head stall attaching to your shank right here, or your shank attaching to the the nose piece right here. The headstall sits in the S part and the reins clip down at the bottom. So I'm just going to pad this with some wool and more vet trap so that'll make this a little nicer and squishier. So that's what I'm doing today. Alrighty, I finished padding the hackamore. I put a nice strip of wool underneath it. This is the shavings. It's just a halter pad and I, um, instead of using it around the whole band of my halter, I cut it and put it on here. All I did was uh, cut down the middle, lay it on, and wrap it. Then I wrapped it in blue batch wrap because that's what color reins we have and figured, hey, why not let it match? So now you can see it's a lot more padded. It's a lot gentler pressure. It's not cutting into his face. Still very flexible. Still flexible. And can't wait to try that one out in it.